Welcome to our channel, where we help you explore the extraordinary side of life. In today's video, we're diving into the world of Stoicism, a philosophy that can empower you to conquer each day with grace and determination. You see, Stoicism is all about understanding the difference between what's in our control and what's not, and focusing our energy on the former. It's about accepting life's ups and downs with equanimity, not letting external circumstances disturb our inner peace. It's about living in accordance with our values, regardless of the noise around us. So are you ready to unleash your inner stoic and truly start living your best life? Let's dive in. Are you truly making the most out of each day or are you merely existing? This question may seem simple, yet it's a powerful one that can change the course of your life. You see, there's a stark difference between living and merely existing. Living means we're actively participating, engaging and contributing to the world around us. It means we're not just going through the motions, but we're investing our time and energy into activities and relationships that matter. On the other hand, merely existing is like being a spectator in your own life, watching the days, months, and years roll by without making a significant impact. It's easy to fall into the trap of existing, letting our enormous potential go to waste, becoming accustomed to complaining instead of appreciating. But here's the truth. Each day is a precious gift, an opportunity to make a difference, to learn, to grow, to love, to live. So seize it. Remember, every day is an opportunity to be extraordinary. Don't settle for a mediocre life. Do you know where true power lies? It's in the present moment. Let's take a moment to unwrap this thought. You see, the present is the only reality we're certain of. It's the only time when we can truly act, make decisions and shape our destiny. The past, it's a memory, a record of things we can't change. The future, it's a projection, an array of possibilities that haven't happened yet. Imagine holding an hourglass, the sand slowly falling grain by grain. Each grain that falls represents a moment that slips away from the future and becomes the past. But where we stand, right at the neck of the hourglass, that is the present moment. It's fleeting, transient, but it's where the sand is falling right now. That's where we have the power to act. Worrying about the future, it's like trying to catch the sand grains that haven't fallen yet. It breeds anxiety because we're trying to control the uncontrollable. The future is uncertain, filled with a myriad of possibilities, but it's not here yet. And while it's wise to prepare, to plan, it's futile to fret over what hasn't happened. On the flip side, dwelling on the past is like trying to change the position of the sand grains that have already fallen. It breeds depression because we're clinging to something that no longer exists. The past has happened, and while it's important to learn from it, it's unproductive to be consumed by it. So where should our focus lie? On the present, on the sand that's falling right now. It's about handling what's in front of us, dealing with today's challenges. Not worrying about tomorrow's troubles, but rather, taking action in the now. It's about being present, being mindful, and making the most of each moment. You see, every second that ticks by is a gift an opportunity to be extraordinary, to not settle for a mediocre life. It's a chance to shape our destiny, to make a difference, to truly live. Your power is in the now. Seize it. Scene script. Ever considered how you respond to life's challenges? Think about that for a moment. The trials and tribulations, the ups and downs, the peaks and valleys that life throws your way. All are opportunities to look inward and truly reflect. Every challenge we face is a mirror, reflecting back to us our strengths and weaknesses, our resilience and resolve. But have you ever truly stopped to look into that mirror? To not just glance, but to stare deeply into your own soul and ask yourself, what am I made of? Self-reflection is the key that unlocks the door to our untapped potential. It's the process of understanding who we are, why we do what we do, and how we can do it better. It peels back the layers of our lives, revealing the raw, unfiltered truth of our existence. But here's the interesting part. We're not just passive observers in this process. We have the power to choose how we respond to what we see in the mirror. We can choose to crumble under the weight of our challenges, or we can choose to rise above them. We can choose to be a victim, or we can choose to be a hero. And let's make no mistake about it. The path of the hero is not an easy one. It's a path strewn with obstacles, hardships, and setbacks, but it's also a path that leads to growth, transformation, and self-discovery. It's the path of the Stoic, the one who understands that life is not about avoiding challenges, but about facing them head on. The one who knows that every difficulty is an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to become stronger. It's the path that leads to the birth of a hero, 
a hero who is not defined by what happens to them but by how they respond to it. A hero who understands that they have an untapped strength within them, a resilience that is forged in the crucible of adversity. So, the next time you find yourself faced with a challenge, don't shy away from it. Embrace it. Look into the mirror and ask yourself, what am I made of? Remember, it's not what happens to you, but how you respond to it that matters. Do you see challenges as stepping stones or stumbling blocks? It's a question that truly reflects our perspective on life and its hardships. In the grand tapestry of life, challenges are the threads that weave together our character, resilience, and strength. They're not mere obstacles in our path, but opportunities for personal growth, for it's under pressure that coal transforms into a diamond. Stoicism teaches us to embrace challenges, not fear them. Imagine yourself as a tree. Every storm you endure, every gust of wind that tries to uproot you only makes your roots grow deeper, your trunk stronger. You stand tall, not in spite of the storm, but because of it. Each challenge you face is a gust of wind, testing your mettle, pushing you to grow stronger. But it's not just about standing firm in the face of adversity. It's also about changing our perception of these challenges. Instead of viewing them as burdens, we should see them as lessons. Every challenge brings with it a hidden lesson, a nugget of wisdom waiting to be uncovered. So, the next time you face a challenge, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Now, let's talk about gratitude. It's easy to express gratitude when life is going our way, when we're basking in the sunlight of success, but true gratitude is expressed in the face of difficulties, when the clouds of despair loom large. It's about finding the silver lining, the ray of hope amidst the storm. It's about appreciating what we have, rather than lamenting what we don't. Gratitude is a powerful tool that can transform our lives. It shifts our focus from what's wrong with our lives to what's right. It helps us appreciate the beauty of life, even in its imperfections. Remember, every challenge you face is a chance to grow, to learn, to become a better version of yourself. So, embrace these challenges, for they are the stepping stones on your path to greatness. And express gratitude for it's the beacon of light that guides you through the storm. Gratitude turns what we have into enough. Ever been thrown off by a difficult person? We've all been there, right? Navigating the intricate labyrinth of human behavior can sometimes feel like a Herculean task, but here's the good news. Stoicism teaches us that we have the power to choose our responses, that we can maintain our serenity, kindness, and grace, even when faced with difficult individuals. Now let's dive right in. Firstly, it's crucial to understand that difficult people are not necessarily bad people. They may be dealing with their own battles and their actions are a reflection of their state of mind, not your worth. When you encounter such individuals, remember to respond, not react. There's a world of difference between the two. Reacting is instinctive, often leading to regret while responding is thoughtful, maintaining your inner peace. Secondly, be firm but fair. Stand your ground, express your boundaries, but do so with respect and understanding. Remember, everyone is fighting their own battles, seen or unseen. Now let's shift gears to teamwork. The ancient Stoics understood the power of a collective effort. They knew that a single twig is easily broken, but a bundle of twigs is tough to snap. In the same vein, working together amplifies our strengths and compensates for our weaknesses. It encourages diversity of thought, innovation, and progress. Each member brings a unique set of skills and perspectives, enriching the group as a whole. Yet teamwork is not just about benefiting from others. It's about contributing, supporting, and uplifting. It's about understanding that the success of the team is your success, and that your victory is the team's victory. So embrace teamwork, encourage open communication, foster trust, and cultivate a positive environment. Remember, a team is not a group of people who work together. It's a group of people who trust each other. To wrap it up, dealing with difficult people and embracing teamwork are two sides of the same coin. They require empathy, understanding, and patience. They challenge us, but also help us grow. In the words of the legendary basketball coach Phil Jackson, remember, the strength of the team is each individual member, and the strength of each member is the team. Scene script. Are you aware of how fleeting time is? Consider this, each second that passes is a moment you'll never get back. Time is like sand slipping through our fingers, and no amount of wishing or worrying can bring it back. The hourglass of life continues to drain, whether we're ready for it or not. 
That said, it's crucial to remember that the present moment is all we truly own. Yesterday is a memory, tomorrow is a mystery, but today, right now, is a gift. That's why it's called the present. It's in these fleeting moments that we can make a difference, that we can take action and create a life worth living. Each tick of the clock is a reminder, an opportunity to step into our power and bring forth our best. So instead of fearing time's swift passage, embrace it. Use it as a catalyst to live more fully, more authentically. Time waits for no one. Make every moment count. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-discovery and growth. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and we hope it has provided you with some valuable insights. As we've explored the principles of Stoicism, we hope you've been inspired to live your best life, focus on the present, and embrace the power of self-reflection. We hope you've learned to see challenges as opportunities and to express gratitude for the lessons they bring. We hope you've gained tools to deal with difficult people and to embrace the power of teamwork. And finally, we hope you've come to appreciate the fleeting nature of time and the preciousness of each moment. Remember, every day is an opportunity to be extraordinary. Thank you for choosing to spend your time with us. In the next video, we will delve deeper into other philosophical principles that can help you navigate life's ups and downs. Until then, stay strong, stay inspired, and keep living your best life.